Welcome back, YouTube. This is Fade Dragon here once again. Hey, it's Ari. And we're still playing Dream of Mirror Online. Um, so last time I just went through my world mirror and I talked to some guy about some stuff. And apparently I have another world mirror here. So, fun times. I must say, though, I do like the, um, the cinematics. Yeah, me too. I really like the plot. <laughs> Uh, the first time I played through, I read, like, every bit of it. I was really into the lore. Um, this time around, I'm kind of more, like, excited to, like, to actually get into the game. And... Yeah, you don't actually have to do the mirrors. They do help to get into some places. But you can also get in on your own, too. <laughs> yeah, there's a... Uh, uh, for example, with the mirror quest... Um, you can get into Neptunes, as I recall, if you're on a certain side. Um, but the main the main reason why you're doing the mirror quest, there's a reward at the end. Mm. Um, usually you get some pretty good rewards. And actually, it turns out I don't need the rope because I got a well pass. <laughs> it's okay, you can sell it. I I I actually need to get the rope though for beast side. So yeah, that's that's another difference between the hero side and the beast side. Um, you know, you'll get different uh, areas that you'll have access to easier. I believe one side that you can get for um, hero that you can enter, I think, is Longstone Woods. But I'm not sure if you still need to do the Grizzly Quest for that or not. Uh, no, I don't believe so. I think you actually get just teleported in there for one of the missions, oh, as nice. I recall. Alright, so here's my next mirror. It's you again. Gotta pass this time, old man. You gotta let me through. Oh, she does make you do the... He does make you do the hemp rope. <laughs> oh, he does. He wants me to talk to Valencia now. Go and get something to climb with. Do I actually have to talk to Valencia? I got the rope, so... Yeah, you do. Oh, wait. Uh, I think there's a... An... Oh, did you get the actual rope already? No, I right. have the five hemp rope. So oh, okay. I gotta, yeah, I gotta you go need get it. that crafted. Right. Yeah, you do need to talk to her, though. Okay. She gives you the passport, I think. She is not clearly marked on my map. She's right here. <laughs> oh, maybe she is clearly marked on my map. It's just covered by the world mirror. No, that's the well. She's right here. She's right here. Oh my, I'm such a derp. <laughs> okay. Letter to Nanny Shrine. Is Nanny Shrine clearly indicated on my map? Yes, yes she is, by the boutique. As I was told by Valencia, I just didn't read it. I'm gonna just auto-walk her. And you might not believe this, viewers, but I'm actually level 70 in this game. <laughs> like, you, you wouldn't guess by me stumbling around on my level 10 character, but I've played this game for a while. Just stop playing it for a while. Indeed. Ah, uh, but with most MMOs, there's only so much you can do. Uh, if, if you play MMOs pretty hardcore, you can pretty much kill it like any other game. Uh, MMOs in general offer a lot more content, though. Domo, I believe I played for three, maybe four years. I actually like the trees, you can go in the trees. <laughs> A sprite can actually fit in one of these smaller trees, like if you sit them down, it's pretty funny. 
But yeah, let's continue. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. I think these are actually the GMs. Vensel, Kiko, and... Well, they represent the GMs. Oh, I see. That's not egotistical or anything like that. <laughs> and they sell gems to there. I see. Yeah, there's all kinds of uh, money sinks in Domo. Um, and that's basically to help the economy from becoming flooded with gold. Um, so that is that is something that the GMs are aware of and they actively work on trying to keep the economy fresh. And you'll probably notice that like if you're watching my chat there, what with all these trade chats going on. <laughs> that the economy actually, is actually still pretty lively. It's kind of interesting, too. <laughs> Just uh, prices have dropped a lot. Ah, well, that's understandable. Like, with Domo, like, it's the kind of game where when something comes out at first, it's worth, like, so much, and... You know the company's aware of that, so they make they purposefully make them rare uh, to drive up the price, and then it has nowhere to go but down and down and down after that. Supply and demand, basically, and it applies to all MMOs, I suppose. Oh, you need to talk to Valencia. Do I? Oh, never mind. You don't. I had to talk to Valencia for her to give me the sturdy rope, I think. I, I actually just had to talk to the mirror. Oh, wait, sorry. I had to talk to Valencia for her to give me the pass, because I didn't do, the, do it by the mirror. Oh. Yeah. Should have been brought in via my plot as well. Alright, let's see what our quest is here. Head south, I might find a surprise under the innermost tree. <laughs> hmm, have we been keeping track of time? Do we know how long this one has been going on for? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I didn't press the time. I'm sorry. No worries. Uh, let's try to make our way to our mirror. Alright. Talking to this guy first, I assume. Yeah. This is one of the quests. When they're you're low level, they actually give you quite a bit. It's after when you get to higher level quests. I think around level the in starting with the in or something, they the experience rate that they give you is much less. So it's maybe only two percent. While right now it would be maybe thirty, twenty to thirty percent. Right, I'm just gonna accept all these. And I think, yeah, let's uh, head down toward the mirror, and we can cut it once we make it there. Alright. And I'll include this part in, because a lot of people usually have trouble navigating these kinds of areas. Just follow the lamps. They'll help. Lamps? Oh. Yep. Yeah. On the walls, you mean? The well is basically the first dungeon that you run into. It's not an instant, so you can just grind there. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much. Um, in dungeon areas, you gain more experience than you would on a world map. Mm -hmm. um, but dungeons are often much more dangerous and harder to level in. Uh, the mobs are usually a little bit stronger. Yeah. They'll also aggro you. They're more likely to aggro you. That being said, usually like if you have a team of people um, and you're organized, you want to be in a dungeon as opposed to a world map. Um, even for duoing, like if you're just playing with two people, uh, the dungeon would be preferable for leveling. But then, every now and then you get uh, bats that aggro you. See how <laughs> that one chasing me right now. I just aggroed a golden glow. So that's something else that you gotta watch out for too, that you'll, you will be attacked. 
so I definitely have not seen my mirror yet. Um, there's a marshal there. Usually yeah, those guys are shops. They're a family of shop owners. I think um, that one sells recipes. Yeah. Oh, alchemy speaking pot, alchemy of pot. recipes, <laughs> good segue there. These are alchemy pots. Ah! Let's kill this glob. Alright. Oh crap, we got a few of them. It's can okay. we kill it? Yes, we can. We can do it. Go, Blade Master, go. Growling Tiger. <laughs> Alright. So, this is an alchemy pot. This will just basically give you a recipe, so I can now make wooden shoes. Mm -hmm. So, that's pretty cool. Um, um, there's usually a couple of those on each map, like an armor set. Uh, yeah, we don't need to fight all these guys. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Um, you. There's actually, uh, I think up to level 15, they'll have the complete, you can find the complete sets, but after level 15, you can, you'll can you have to buy the body and pants from mar different marshals. But you can still find the head, um, gloves, and shoes as alchemy pots around the world. There's one over here too, but we all we can get it late another time. Uh, I hope this is the right way. Yeah. Tadpoles. These guys are the first magical monsters you'll run into. So, um. Level 12 shamans. Yeah, you need to be a little careful if you're not on a magic job. Just because they AoE and they'll kind yes. of hurt. <laughs> Basically, tadpoles don't like blade masters, apparently. Mm-hmm. Oh, and uh, once we complete the first few quests are given to us by the quest masters, or quest NPCs, whatever, they'll give you- they'll sometimes give you a fourth quest. Those tend to be the area titles. Okay, let's go to your mirror. <laughs> that- the man-eating spider you see over here is actually the last quest for the well, which we grab. It spawns every hour, and there's only two of them, so if another group of people kill it, then uh, you need to wait for another hour. Should we oh, kill it then? Oh, no, no, we haven't gotten the quest yet. Oh, okay. Let's just do this mirror then, hopefully. Yeah, all right. Let's just, just get right out of there. Oh, I'm so tired. I've been wandering around for a long time. Could it be that the councilman has got the wrong information? You know what, that's just what I was thinking too. <laughs> like, man, I ain't seeing nothing around here. I've been wandering around for like an hour. Oh. Let's go take a look. Let me guess. How come there's a man standing in a strange place like this? Oh, he's even wearing a government uniform. Mm -hmm. Old gentleman, I'm Fade Dash Dragon Tear. The councilman has entrusted me with the task of investigating the governor's <laughs> case. How come you're trapped in a place like this? It's the people sent by the councilman. I'm the governor himself. Explanation point, you're the governor. Then who is that person in Everson City? The plot thickens. What you saw wasn't me. I was kidnapped and held hostage here by the Tiger Man who has changed something. That's terrible. For the whole time the Tiger Man's been deceiving us. Fade Dragon Tear. Tiger Man has disguised himself as me and is going around eating people. Really? <laughs> he is going around eating people? Alright. This cutscene is over. Yeah, I don't think I'll be voicing all of those. <laughs> that got pretty lame there for a couple seconds. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I'm gonna cut this episode here. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Yep, I'll see you guys later.